I also have a, a video I made of a, a Iraq, uh, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan Marine who was blown up by two IEDs and completely destroyed. But again, in a relatively short period of time, not that this is the whole story, mm -hmm. you see him come back into life, come out of this state of complete shock back into life. When you see Ray, uh, he's in a case consultation I'm doing in Los Angeles, and he's like this. And I talk to him, and he doesn't move his head. He's just locked in shame and defeat. And we're talking a little while, and I said, well, Ray, if I could help you, what would you want? What kind of help would you want? Is there something that you be useful for you. And he said, well, I can't deal with crowds of people. I mean, can't deal with people, of course, at all. And I said, well, okay, you came to the right place because the room was full of students. And so very gradually, uh, I started to give him some education and I could see that this whole shock response, because he was literally blown in the air. They f he, he woke up two weeks later in the hospital in Lonstrop. Germany, unable to walk, unable to talk. And you see, um, you see him come out of the shock and feel, I mean, within 10 or 15 minutes, feeling relaxation in his whole body, feeling energy streaming in his body. In the sec, and oh, and he was diagnosed with many, many things, TBI, severe PTSD, chronic pain, and Tourette syndrome. The reason he was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome is because he was like this. And you don't get Tourette syndrome overnight. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, but I realized that what he was doing, this was a protective response of pulling his body in and trying to orient to where the sound was coming from. But before he could do that, he was in the air. I mean, just before that, there was a firefight, mm -hmm. friends were killed. The this whole experience, that, yeah. the fear, the terror, the boredom, and then the explosion. I mean, this all gets together. But if you're locked like this, there's nowhere you can go. You have to help the person get out of the shock. Then mm -hmm. they can begin to start processing the emotional mm -hmm. stuff. So this whole defensive response, like mine in the, in the car, got locked into his body. And as we tease that apart, the second session, the, 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 the convulsions were nearly gone. And then in the fifth session, we had the opportunity of, uh, I invited him to, I do, did a workshop every year at Esalen called The Ordinary Miracle of Healing or something like that. I don't even remember what it's called. But anyhow, um, he, they allowed him to come as a scholarship. And you could see him then, because he was out of the shock, deal with these difficult feelings of rage, of helplessness, of guilt, of loss. Because, you know, he, his best friends died in his arms. And, and you see this man, a self-reflective, deep, deep human being, um, able to be present able to say to the to the, the people who, who do the treatment, you know, at the veterans hospitals and so forth, he said, look, look for other methods. Don't think that just by giving us drugs and numbing us out is the solution. It's not. There are other avenues there. Please explore them. Please let us explore them. And he's now married, has a child. Of course, he's had, you know, different problems. He's had to, you know, you know, deal with many things as you do with a new family. And he's back, in, he's in college, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we keep in some contact. And, and, and possibly if I'm ever doing some groups with vets, he's volunteered to come along and I've invited him and he's volunteered to come along to be part of those groups. And when the veterans come back with this trauma, the effect this is going to have on their families, on their children, on their communities, on all of us. Look, if a million and a half people were coming into the U.S. that had been exposed to some kind of resistant tuberculosis, this would be a national mobilization emergency. 
you would get tons of money going into this. You would, working at all different levels. This epidemic is really not any different. I mean, the, the amount of violence and, 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 and oh, it's, it breaks my heart. It really, really breaks my heart that, we, that we're not mobilizing to, to deal with this.